Hello, welcome to Flix Water YouTube channel. Today, I want to share some valuable insights with you on how to remove copper from your drinking water. Copper, a naturally occurring metal, can be found in various elements around us, including water sources. While copper is essential for our health in moderate amounts, excessive copper levels can cause health issues and lead to problems in our homes. So, let's dive into the topic and explore how we can address this concern. First, let's understand how copper finds its way into our drinking water. Copper can enter our water supply through the corrosion of copper pipes, faucets, and plumbing fixtures. When water flows through these pipes, it can strip copper, causing it to dissolve into the water. Factors like acidic or soft water, residual chlorine, and hot water can accelerate this corrosion process. Additionally, copper can contaminate well water through various sources such as mining, farming, and industrial activities. Now, what are the safe levels of copper in drinking water? According to the Environmental Protection Agency (EPA), 1.3 parts per million (ppm) or less is considered a safe level of copper. The EPA has set this limit as the maximum contaminant level goal, ensuring no known adverse effects on human health occur. Excessive copper in drinking water can have side effects on both our health and our homes. Health-related effects may include nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, and in severe cases, liver damage or kidney failure. On the other hand, our homes can exhibit blue-green stains in sinks, showers, faucets, pipes, and appliances, along with a bitter, metallic taste in the water. To determine if your water contains copper, you can either contact a state-certified laboratory for accurate testing or use an at-home test kit. Municipal water suppliers also conduct regular tests and are required by law to provide the results upon request. However, keep in mind that these tests may not reveal copper contamination originating from your home plumbing, so periodic testing is recommended if your pipes contain copper. Now, let's move on to the exciting part, how to remove copper from water. There are several effective methods you can consider. Reverse osmosis, this filtration process employs pressure to push water through a semi-permeable membrane, blocking contaminants like copper while allowing clean water to pass. Reverse osmosis systems can remove around 97 to 98 percent of copper from water. Distillation, this method mimics nature's purification process by evaporating water and leaving contaminants, including copper, behind. The filtered steam condenses back into liquid form, providing you with copper-free water. Distillation can remove more than 99% of copper ion exchange filtration. Through this process, water passes through a bed of resin beads that trap contaminants, including copper ions. In exchange, harmless ions like sodium, hydrogen, or hydroxyl ions are released into the water, improving its quality. Water softeners and deionized water systems are common ion exchange filters. It's essential to note that boiling water does not remove copper. In fact, it may increase copper concentrations due to water evaporation. To reduce the risk of copper in your water, consider flushing your water system regularly by running the cold water tap for about 30 seconds before use. This helps remove stagnant water that has been in contact with copper pipes for extended periods. Using cold water for drinking and cooking is also recommended, as hot water dissolves copper more readily. In summary, removing copper from drinking water is crucial for our health and the well-being of our homes. Methods such as reverse osmosis, distillation, and ion exchange filtration can effectively eliminate copper. Remember to flush your water system regularly and use cold water for consumption. By taking these steps, you can ensure that your drinking water is clean, free from excessive copper, and safe for you and your family. Cheers to healthy hydration. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel for next topics or click to see the next videos on the right.